Hi friends, my name is Alyssa Chambers and this is Astrology and Makeup. So, hi! I have decided, if you haven't noticed, that Monday is going to be exact chart placements. So I'm going through them by house. First house to twelfth house, Aries through Pisces for each one. So I'm going to do one of those every Monday and on Thursday it'll be just like a random video. It might be another placement if I'm not feeling so hot. Um, I struggle with schedules a lot. So Thursday I didn't post one last week because uh, Wednesday I uh, part partook. partook. Wednesday I got a little carried away with my own self and um, Thursday I wasn't feeling so good so I'm sorry for that but today's gonna be a really simple video just something that I think everyone should know and something that everyone should work on knowing so I'm going to do my makeup while I get ready and talk to you about the moon phases when we learn about the moon we're like what I don't even know what grade very small. We're very small when we learn about the moon. And I think that's something we should really pay attention to. So much so that I actually have an app on my phone that I use to keep track of what the moon is doing because I'm going to do a video in the future, in the very near future, the next coming weeks, about how to use the moon to your advantage, depending on what sign it is. So it's important to know the phases of the moon and get really familiar with that first. So yeah, if I were you, I would start paying attention to what phase the moon is in and start working on that because it's important for your life. I know it sounds really silly, but our bodies are mostly made of water and the moon makes the tide. So if you don't think that the moon affects people, then I'm judging you. A little bit just a little bit all right so the moon starts in a new moon phase and a new moon is when there is no moon at all when you look up into the sky it's completely blank and that's when you're gonna want to like start to make plans for things but we'll get into that in the future but it's important to pay attention to what kind of moon it is and even if you want to, you can start to track what sign the moon is in and also how it makes you feel. So I actually have this app on my phone. I have an Android. Let's all laugh. Okay. And it is this one right here. Simple moon phase calendar. I don't know if it's going to look the same or be called the same thing on yours if you have an iPhone but it should be and then right on my home screen you guys are gonna probably judge all that I have on here you can see it tells you the percentage of the moon right now how big it is how full it is it's a full moon also no this is not an advertisement for that app I just really genuinely like it and I like to know what the moon is up to and I like to keep track of how the moon makes me feel and use that in it to my advantage. So for example, we're about to have a Virgo full moon and Virgo is all about, you know, rituals and being organized and having your stuff together. So this full moon, since I know that from my app, is a really good time to be organized and get your stuff together and you can use the moon to your advantage in that way I'm gonna get really in depth of like making a whole plan with the moon and but you can make a whole plan with the moon have a journal and keep track and you'll start to notice a lot of life changes it's kind of crazy it's almost it's like magic, <laughs> if I'm being honest. So yeah, we start with a new moon. That's the very beginning of the moons. And then I'm gonna go, so the darkness will go from the left and the moon will start at the right side of it coming across. But the next phase is a waxing crescent. So that's when the left side of the moon is 
almost completely dark and there's a little crescent on the right side and that's when it's just starting to have the moon show up again after a waxing crescent comes the first quarter moon and the first quarter moon is called a first quarter because we can only see a quarter of it it looks like half though which always confused me when i was younger because you're seeing half of it but you're seeing half of half of the moon <laughs> so a first quarter moon is the same thing where the dark is on the left side and the right side the whole right half that we can see is illuminated next after a first quarter <clears throat> wow my voice is crazy we have a waxing gibbous or a gibbous moon as some people call it that is when the dark starts to be taken over by the light so the dark is still on the left side and the dark is more of a crescent shape and the moon is starting to take like a moon kind of round shape next after a waxing gibbous or a gibbous moon is a full moon and a full moon is just how it sounds it's a complete moon you can see it completely but it is hard to tell when it is actually full which is why i really like that app because it gives you the percentage and the time that it's going to change it also gives you mercury retrograde and it gives you whatever sign the moon is in which is super cool super cool so next after a full moon comes a waning moon or a disseminating moon i have never heard it called that until i was like looking up and really researching stuff about the moon so that i can make sure that i could be really factual and disseminating what the heck i've never even heard that so just know that if you hear someone say that that means the same thing as waning and that's when the darkness starts coming from the right side of the moon so it looks kind of like a full moon but there's a crescent of darkness on the right side of it rather than the left side. So after the waning or disseminating phase comes the third quarter phase, which is the same thing as the first quarter. It's just backwards. So now rather than the right side be illumin the right side being illuminated, the left side is illuminated. So next, after the third quarter moon, we have the waning crescent or balsamic moon. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Unless it's balsamic. We're just going to say it's balsamic, like the dressing. <laughs> and the same thing goes for that, where it is the dark is starting to creep over from the right and make its way to the left. And you're left with a little crescent shape of a moon again, but the moon this time is on the left side. After that, you go right back around to a new moon. This may seem like a really silly video that I'm just telling you the phases of the moon, but some people may have forgotten. I definitely didn't remember exactly what they were called or know that they had other names even. And if you want to and if you want to read things from other countries and you want to understand what they're saying about the moon i think the moon is really important <laughs> this is like my love to the moon i think the moon is really important and we should keep track of it and how it makes us feel especially if you know your own moon sign and you can compare the two which is very interesting uh full moons and new moons are really important the next video I'm going to do is just different types of moon, like super moon, strawberry moon, stuff like that. People get really confused about that kind of stuff. And they're really not, that kind of stuff is really not that big of a deal. A void of course moon is important and out of bounds moons are important. So I'm going to include those. And then I'm going to do a video on how to use the moon, like utilize it to your full advantage really keep track of it and use it to make your dreams happen so yeah thanks for watching what he said mm -hmm. yeah okay that's my cue that's my cue that's my cue